While South Africans were celebrating Youth Day on Friday, Volkswagen revealed the all-new Polo hatchback at a glitzy event in Berlin and to follow up on our initial coverage, let's take a closer look at what this important new model is all about. 1. It's bigger and a lot more practical. Don't be fooled by its relatively conservative design, this is an all-new vehicle built on a more compact version of VW's MQB platform that also underpins the Golf, Tiguan and Passat. That said, the Polo is hardly small anymore. Measuring 40-53mm, it is 81mm longer than its predecessor, although still 205mm shorter than a Golf but the wheelbase has increased by 94 mm to 25-64 mm, resulting in shorter front and rear overhangs and, more importantly, increased cabin space. In fact, between the wheels the new Polo is a good 53 mm longer than the fourth generation Golf. Having gained a significant 69 mm in width over its predecessor, the new Polo is also 16 mm wider than the Golf 4. Clever packaging also results in more boot space, with the volume having grown from 280 liters previous Polo to 351 liters. 2. New Generation Digital Instrument Cluster not only will you be able to order a Polo with a digital instrument cluster for the first time, but this also happens to be a new generation of the brand's active info display. According to VW, the new system and its graphics are clearer and easier to use, while a single button on the steering wheel will allow drivers to switch between the basic views menus. The Polo will also offer a wide range of touchscreen infotainment systems, ranging in size from 16.5 cm to 20.3 cm, all glass encased and said to be every bit as sophisticated as high-end smartphones. Furthermore, buyers will be able to decorate the cabin with trim strips in a wide variety of colors. 3. And many more high-tech gadgets. As with many of the aforementioned trimmings, it remains to be seen exactly which features will be on the South African menu, but European buyers are able to opt for many new features and gadgets. These include Wireless charging for smartphones Adaptive dampers Adaptive cruise control, now up to 210 km per hour and with stop and go Full LED headlights and taillights Air Care Climatronic Aircon with Air Quality Sensor and Allergen Filter Blind Spot Detection, now with Rear Traffic Alert Park Assist with Added Maneuvering Function for Improved Ding Avoidance Keyless Access and Start Front Assist Area Monitoring, Standard This includes City Emergency Braking and Pedestrian Monitoring 4. Smaller TSI engine packs bigger punch. As with the gizmos, Volkswagen South Africa is remaining tight-lipped about the local engine lineup, but in the likely event that it mirrors European developments, we will see the 1.2-liter TSI turbo petrol replaced by the 1-liter TSI that previously powered the Blue Motion model. This unit is available in two states of tune, 70 kilowatts and 85 kilowatts, with torque outputs as yet unconfirmed. The European range also inherits a new 1.5-liter TSI turbo petrol from the Golf. This motor features cylinder deactivation and is rated at 110 kilowatts. On the diesel front, VW is offering a 1.6 TDI and 59 kilowatts and 70 kilowatts guises. Below is a full list of the European engine and gearbox range. 5. But no replacement for displacement in the GTI's case. As you'd have seen above, the new Polo GTI has evolved into a true Golf GTI Mini Me, even inheriting a 2.0-liter TSI engine, which, as per the 5th generation Golf, pushes 147 kilowatts. As before, GTI fans can choose between a manual and DSG dual-clutch gearbox. 
The Polo GTI will also offer a sophisticated new Sport Select chassis option with adaptive dampers. The GTI rides on 17-inch alloys, but buyers can opt for 18-inch rims, and as you'd expect, the Performance flagship gets its own styling pack, which includes a unique front bumper, honeycomb grille with red stripe, side sill extensions, red brake calipers, large roof spoiler, diffuser and dual tail pipes. Inside you'll find tartan covered sports seats, red stitched, flat bottomed sports steering wheel and an ambient lighting system. 6. As before, they'll build it in South Africa. The all-new Polo is set to be launched in South Africa early in 2018. As with the current model, it will be built at VWSA's Uitenhage plant for both local consumption and for export, with local content even higher than the current 72%. The company has in recent times invested over our 4.5 billion in this factory. Earlier, VWSA's managing director Thomas Schaefer said that although SA is not a logical production location, given that only 0.6% of the world's vehicle production is situated here, ongoing investments make sense due to the potential of Africa as a future market for exports as well as the security that the APDP provides for investors.